Hi, it's Patrick from Half Wheel, and this is the Bugatti Vulcan, one of two new lighters that Bugatti released to the market this year, the other being the Mirage, but both of them share a pair of really interesting attributes that separate them from what else is on the market. The first of which is a removable piece at the top, which contains the two jets. To remove that, you just unscrew this black ring and slide it off, and that way you can replace this piece should your jets become clogged. Now, while it's not the most common thing in the lighter world, it has been known to happen that Little bits of tobacco or dust or other junk can get in there and affect the performance, as well as the ignition can often go bad or uh, just not fire. And so if that needs to be replaced, which is one of the most common pieces of a lighter that needs to be replaced, it can be done so by the user. And they include an extra one in the uh, box with this. To replace it, you just align the little arrow and screw the black ring back on and you are back in business. Now the other piece is the butane supply and that is found here on the bottom Again, unscrew a piece and out will pop a little canister. And this is premium butane, just like any other kind of lighter you'd use. Uh, it's a small canister, 18 milliliters or about six tenths of a fluid ounce. And the company says this will last you upwards of 30 days. Again, it all varies based on actual usage as if you're lighting cigars every day, this is gonna last you a couple of days. Or if you're a much more occasional smoker, it could last you well over 30 days. But this is how the lighter is fueled. As you can see, there is nothing else in the tank. It's just an empty cylinder. And so if you run out of this while you're out using your lighter, there's no way to refill it. There's also no indication of how much fuel is left in there. So a novel innovation, but something that does leave a few things to be desired. Now to replace it, you just slide it back in there, give it a good push so the valve gets all the way in, replace the bottom piece and Make sure it's threaded properly and then screwed in nice and tight so that that valve uh, has a nice tight seal and you are back in business. The single action ignition and let's turn the lights off and give you a quick look at what the flames look like. Now, as I mentioned, this is a dual flame and as you can see, they're angled together, creates a nice tight flame that will light pretty much any cigar very, very quickly without scorching the sides. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to lighters. Really, really nice flame, works tremendously well, and I've been very happy with that. So that's what that looks like. Let's turn the lights back on here. Now, as far as things that I'm not so crazy about with the Bugatti Vulcan, as you can see, there is no visible fuel window. And I allude to this when talking about the tank, that if you're out and about, you don't know how much fuel is left in here. And that can be kind of a headache if you're going to be lighting a bunch of cigars, you don't want to be running out of fuel because if there's no extra fuel tank, you didn't bring one with you or there's not one to buy, this lighter is effectively a paperweight, which is disheartening. Now, there is a flame adjuster lever right here, and you can crank this up pretty high, and I actually think probably too high, as I've been running this pretty much on the lowest setting, and it has worked more than sufficiently. It also offers three different positions for you to point the flames, about a 30 degree angle there if I'm not mistaken, my geometry memory isn't terribly strong, but it creates a nice option so you can either light it straight on or give a nice little angle. It's a little bit bigger than a traditional pocket lighter, certainly you could carry it in your pocket, you will notice it, and if you put it in a travel humidor it will take up a fair amount of space. In my five count it basically means I can carry four cigars, and even then they have to be four on the slender side, uh, because this takes up at least a spot, maybe a spot and a quarter or so, depending on uh, your particular model. Now, this is a $100 lighter, at least at retail, and you can make a lot of arguments about what a $100 lighter should have, and for me, one of those is a visible fuel window, which I hate to keep harping back on, but I do miss it on this lighter, because once it goes out and there's no more butane, you are really stuck unless you have a separate or a spare uh, fuel canister on hand. Now, plus to that is you can use that fuel canister to fill up a buddy's lighter if you need to do so. So that's sort of helpful. It makes you a good friend, but again, it chews into your fuel supply, which does come at a bit of a premium as you'll read in the review. It's about a five or six times markup uh, over standard butane, even, the, even higher quality butane. So keep that in mind as well. It is a fairly substantial lighter in the hand. You'll definitely notice you got it in your hand. But for the most part, it works really well. Now, the ignition can be a bit fussy, and of course... Here it looks pretty good, but as you can see, there's occasionally a couple of misfires. I do recommend giving it that slow push to get that butane started just before firing the ignition, as that will help a bit, but again, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, and it has gotten more sporadic with time, so keep that in mind as well. So that, in a nutshell, is the Bugatti Vulcan. It's an interesting lighter, and one that is certainly worth considering, but you do have to keep in mind 
and it does have some fairly unique attributes that may make this a little less uh, of an appealing lighter than it looks at first glance. So thanks for checking this out. Read more about it here on Half Wheel. And thanks again for checking out this review of the Bugatti Volcom.